Welcome to the Study Garage, and this is the SG Amethyst, the most advanced and intricately detailed car I have ever built out of Lego. The OG subscribers may remember that I love designing original cars out of Lego and challenging myself to make each one better than the last. And if you didn't know that, then you're probably new here and you should subscribe for more content like this. Now let's dive into the Amethyst and I'll show you all around this model and showcase every aspect of this design. Starting with a general summary of what exactly this is supposed to be, which is a mid-engine exotic grand touring style sport slash supercar that would feature a naturally aspirated V12 engine paired with a manual gearbox sending all of the power to the back wheels. And with all those platform ingredients, I wanted to design a car that had the same body language as vintage Italian sports cars. Now, I always have a vague idea of the car that I want to build, but I also like to let the car design itself through the building process, which is why I would also say the Amethyst has a healthy blend of both German and British auto styling cues. For example, the front bumper is inherently British to me with its beautiful simplicity, whereas the back bumper definitely gives off an angry German sports car vibe. One of of the things I'm most excited about accomplishing through the entire design of this car is the fact that there's only a handful of studs exposed on the whole body, and a couple of which are intentional, like the studs on the dashboard. But while I'll admit no illegal building techniques were used here, some suspicious ones were definitely used, like this entire side panel is connected to literally one stud. However, altogether, the Amethyst is a really sturdy build and was even designed to have a few functions as well. The first of which would be the openable front trunk or frunk. Admittedly, it is a little hard to open, but at least we can say that it does. And once it's open, you definitely have enough room for some golf clubs. Then once you've loaded up your golf clubs in the frunk, the next step would be for you to get in with the beautiful butterfly doors. Now, these doors are a topic worth mentioning because it took a lot of experimenting to get and fit these doors just right. They're actually accomplished with a fairly simple building technique involving this Technic piece and a modified plate. For the record though, this door hinge could be made even more compact using this Technic piece along with the modified plate. I just didn't realize I had the proper pieces until this one was already fully integrated into the car and I just didn't want to take everything apart. And with this design, it enabled part of the roof to move with the door and be used to hold the door up by resting on the main roof of the car. And as impressive as the doors are open, I wanna take a second to appreciate how seamlessly the doors fit within the body when they're closed. But once you've climbed inside the Amethyst, you'll find a tailor-made studded garage red interior with bucket seats, a steering wheel, gauges, pedals, and one thing that's never been seen before on any one of our models, which is this style of gear selector that sits within the center console. This is also able to move in all kinds of ways to simulate a real stick shift. And I have to admit, it's one of my favorite things to interact with on this car. Check it out. It's parked in first. Then once you've arrived at the golf course and your buddies inevitably want to see what's under your hood, you can show them the engineering marvel that is our V12. And yes, if it looks familiar, our V12 was designed to look similar to a Ferrari V12. And while we're in the engine bay, I'll also point out the engine can be seen from within the cabin and the glass over the engine bay creates an actual see-through for a rear view mirror. But now that I've shown you all of the functions of the Amethyst, I wanted to point out just a couple design elements that I thought were too cool to go unmentioned. These would be the side intake vents themselves and how they line up perfectly with the engine's air intake. Another would be these taillights, which are definitely an element that designed themselves through the building process. Process. And finally, how the car has a front emblem along with one on the rear as well as one on the steering wheel. All around, the SG Amethyst is by far the most advanced and intricately designed model ever from the Study Garage. Please tell me what you think of the design and build in the comments, and I'm hoping this build inspires some ideas for your own personal builds. But with that, stay creative. Peace.